you know, I'ma just get straight to the point. No intro. Look, as far as Anthony Joshua go, Anthony Joshua has shown that he has no credibility and it is no reason to believe anything that comes out of Anthony Joshua's mouth because Anthony Joshua, as far as I'm concerned, has killed all credibility with me and quite a few other people based off the way he's handled the Deontay Wilder situation. You know, once again, Anthony Joshua is just making all these demands, which he, to me, he doesn't deserve. He's talked about the fight with Deontay Wilder, a potential fight with Deontay Wilder has to be in the UK. Now, just keep in mind, right after he beat Luis, he was talking about, oh, well, Wilder may have to come to Saudi Arabia and fight. See, AJ does this all the time. And, you know, AJ's next quote is, well, I don't see Wilder lasting no more than seven rounds with me. Well, if you felt that way, AJ, why wasn't this fight made last year? You had ample opportunity to make this fight. You refused to make this fight. So, once again... This is probably going to be the sticking point in where Wilder and Fury doesn't happen again this year. AJ has some shown that he's not the most honest guy in the world and that he's known for changing his story. And he will change his story again. He will say something else. Once again, this is a guy that turned down $50 million to fight. The $50 million he asked for. You know, and I'm going to talk about another subject as well. But as far as AJ go, it's no reason for anybody to believe anything that comes out of AJ's mouth. Okay? He has zero credibility with me because based off the fact that he's weaseled out of this fight more than one occasion so why should we sit up here and just be like okay AJ we believe you no I'm sorry AJ um, until I actually see a press conference and these two guys are standing face to face I'll believe it but the thing is AJ is trying to solely dictate everything on his terms and once again, he doesn't want to compromise, okay, on nothing. So he really, to me, doesn't want this fight. But keep in mind, he said that, you know, he wants to return to the U.S. And then he turns around and say, oh, well, I don't trust the judges out there. See how A.J. is with this stuff, with his inconsistency. So I'm just not buying what he's selling. The fight would do better numbers in the U.S. than it would in the U.K. It would one, it would have a better gait as far as revenue go. And to be honest with you, why are you worried about judges if you say you gonna knock the dude out? If you that confident and that you gonna knock the dude out, then why do you need the fight to be in the U.K.? And keep in mind. You know, AJ has been accused by other people of being on that stuff. Some of his, some of his own brethren from the UK. So, once again, I'm just pointing out the inconsistency of AJ. Why do you care where this fight is? Why are you hell bent on this fight being in the UK? If you feel you can beat Wilder, you'll go to the US. So, yeah, that's my thoughts on AJ and his latest comments. I'm out.